When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. Okay, we're at the gym right now. About to hit some deadlift. They run the Kabuki, the Kabuki Uki bar. Last time, like a week or two ago, I tried this bar. It felt good. The weight was still heavy. It felt good. But we're about to actually try today. Now, today, this is a rare sight. I'm literally the weakest person here. I'm the weakest person here as far as deadlift. These guys, this guy like rivals Jamal Browner. Everybody here is like 800 plus deadlifter, but me. I'm on my way. So this should be a fun thing to see. You know, especially now that all these guys are like power lifters, like actual like pro power lifter type of people. And uh, yeah, let's, let's have some fun. Right now. Alright, so I was like, we at 705 right now. 
swag, the shit gets real. For me at least, they're still warming up. This is where I tap out. <laughs> What's this, 805? Or 8-15? I think you could do it on this bar. But this bar? You think I can do this with this bar? Huh? He's like, I think you can do this with this bar. 815? 815? You're what? 795? I said 790 was my last PR. Regardless, regardless of whether you could or could it, you should. No. <laughs> no. no way. That's like jumping. You'd be jumping from like 80% to 113%, 114%. Yeah. And then feel that out. See what you think, you know? And then definitely max low 363. Eight. Flat. Right? We'll, we'll go 750 next. 816. This is yeah. Nah, this is this is uncharted territory. This is this is a, a, a boss in a in a fucking game that like you know on those uh, Dark Souls when you go to the hardest boss with like zero level like that's what they're doing right now. Come on, Shay. I'm not leveled up for that. Right, Head up. going for a thousand for reps today. Bro, who does that? Who the fuck does that? What? Bro, that's fucking ridiculous, bro. <laughs> I thought there was a much. Hey, no, hey, hey. What's with the belt? What's with the belt? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go 750 next. Are you? I'm gonna go 750, yeah, yeah. What, you, you in the 900? You in the 900 board? No. no. Mid-8. Mid-8? This year. Not year. this year. Not this year. I hope to be mid-80s this year. That's what we're doing. Hey, why he look like he can throw a football 120 yards? <laughs> <laughs> That's sunshine right there. Depending on what you want to go up to. I'm Past 800. Well, I'm just watching. I'm just like, fuck. Now I'm the guy on the side, just like, oh. yeah. How old are you? 17 days ago in Miami? Yeah, I'll be 
I still have some over here in Miami to Columbus. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. just, just, just packed yeah. it up, just boom, boom, boom. Sleeping in the rain. Yeah, the rain places. Here we go. You have not got like rough, like cold breath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know that. I'm happy to Yeah. I'm going to month out for my next one. You should come, man. It's going to be in Corpus. Corpus Christi. Corpus Christi. I'm getting ready for I'm getting ready for That's what I'm going to do like a series right now. I'm gonna explain why he was using these kind of wrong, or not wrong, but not to his advantage, right? So, most people, when they try to put figure eights on, throw this on and they grab the figure eight, right? That's bad too. You're not gonna have fully tensed up against the bar. So what you're looking to do is set it, and then come in as far as possible so you have all that slack taken out, right? But what he was doing wrong was setting this way too far outside here, and setting his hand where he normally would be. Because once he starts pulling on this bar, this is where the tension is. So it's almost like he was deadlifting like this, right? Snatch grip, a lot of upper back engagement, lower torso, a lot more posterior chain dominant, very disadvantageous. But if he sits the middle of this to where his hand would be and then grips inside of it, then as soon as he goes, this is where the tension is, where his hand would be, but grip isn't a factor with the figure eight. So this is gonna be a lot better. So set this where your hand normally would be. Yeah. Then grip inside. Okay. Your hand your might feel like they're very close before you start, but as soon as you actually go, you'll feel that tension where it normally is. I mean, he can do it either. He can do it either, but I see what you're saying. If you want to, then maybe that's adjustments to make once you're not pulling with straps or anything. Yeah. Like once you're really trying to figure out your mix and you're also, figuring out your whole thing. the first time on a kabuki, bro. That's what I, that's the whole thing. So it's, it's the straps in front of it, then the kabuki, the excess width, and it's like, ah, oh, shit. Yeah, maybe. Versus the other yeah. one, you can kind of muscle fuck it by like kind of tucking the elbow. Yeah. This is stuff, these are adjustments to make, I guess that makes sense. These are adjustments to make it lighter loads uh -huh. until it feels natural. Yeah, okay. maybe, I mean, you know what I mean? Try to adjust but My something. thought, because, so like for, my, for me, I, I, felt, I felt the outside tension, but I felt like, instead of being right here, like, I, I, I felt like I was like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 like you can have your lats engaged like that, yeah. not talk as much. Yeah, so maybe these are adjustments to make at lighter loads once we actually start prep and shit like that. But maybe when you're trying like 100% of your max, you know what I mean? Changing something like that might not be as advantageous. So maybe, that was 775. Yeah. Do more of that. Well, just push. Get more blood work. Okay, pull harder. Blow in there. Well, he's talking back pain because he's got he's having some issues right now. But in terms of accessories, so it depends, right? It depends on what degree of specificity you want, right? So like a very specific. All specificity means is how similar is this to the competition movement that I'm doing, right? So maybe a very specific accessory to a conventional deadlift would be an RDL or a stiff-legged deadlift, right? Very similar, just slightly off position-wise. And something maybe very far from specific, but still a good accessory for deadlifts would be like a hamstring curl, right? Still working the posterior chain, but very far away from the competition movement. So you have a day where you solely hinge, right? Like you already do RDLs and stiff legs on a different day, right? 
So you maybe wouldn't want to throw that in today. You would want to really get the bang for your buck on your competition stuff and then do less specific accessories now. So maybe doing some reverse hypers, right? To get some blood in the erectors. And then maybe doing some hamstring curls, something like that. Right. Maybe some glute work, you know? Because yeah. the other day you're really going to get the majority of your hinging. You don't really need to be killing like RDLs or stiff legs twice a week, especially on a day where you're going heavy, you know? So that's what I would recommend. If anything, that's honestly pretty good right there. If you were to set up those three, a reverse hyper, a hamstring curl, and a even GHD or, or a glute bridge, it would probably be money. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Done with deadlifts. I was going to do some accessory stuff, but nah, I'm actually, I'm just going to go home and eat and stuff. Put a chill. I'm trying to save as much energy as possible for this week of heavy lifting. Fuck, bro. It's spilled everywhere. And I just want to say, is camera on? Yeah. I just want to say, I did tune into your Twitch stream the other night. Oh, Man, where? you are a great gamer. Everyone, tune into this guy's Twitch. Link in the bio, baby. Go sub. I think he's lying. I was Let's fucking go. trash. Uh, I've been good. trash these last days. You're, play, you're playing Apex, bro. You're I, play. <laughs> I was in there, bro. I was like, W, chat, dude. What's <laughs> good, y'all? What y'all hitting? Sarms? Actually, uh, charms. Trust and arms. Trust and arms. Money day, bro. Yo, for the longest... For the longest, I didn't know what SARS was, they had to explain it to me, bro. I was like, SARS? Well, what's it's not what you think it is, don't worry. It's exactly what you think it is, Rad 140. It's a Rad 140 type of day. Yeah, a Rad 140. Yeah, SARS, baby. Rad 140 LGD day. <laughs> hey, bro, where was you at, bro? Where was you at? You missed the whole deadlift session. Oh, you were done with today? We were all Damn. deadlifting, bro. Dude, it went did like 900 for reps. All type shit, bro. Where was you at? I didn't, I didn't even know. It's too hot out, man. I can't get out of here. Alright, so I gotta head up upstairs because we got this new drop coming out uh, for clothing. And I need to figure out, I need to figure out what size I am. Because last time I ordered larges in these stringers. And I should have ordered XLs. So I'm kinda I'm kinda top heavy right now. I mean, I'm always bottom heavy, you know what I mean? But I'm kind of top heavy right now. I feel like you eat like healthily, but you don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Are you a sauce person? You look like you're a sauce person. No, no, no. No? Yeah. I hate sauces. The food, the food here is bland. Food would be good. That burger be hitting. I ain't gonna lie. But we're headed into the house right now. My thought. Yo, truck, you're tripping, bro. It was, it was not green for you. Um, head to the house. Probably going to make some breakfast. I'm not sure if Babe got some bacon or whatever. But uh, get some turkey bacon and some eggs going with some toast, as y'all seen in the last video. Um, I only eat three times a day. I feel like people uh, are surprised. Like, yeah, sorry, you only eat three times a day? Yeah, like, yeah, I only, eat, I only eat three, maybe four times in a day. Sometimes just two. And it's, how do you keep that? Ma bro. I'm telling, I, I feel like people don't understand, like, I could stop eating and I'm still going to be like, for a, for a good while, I'm still going to be like, you know, above 230 to 240 pounds. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think people real, I think people realize, I mean, I don't, I don't think people realize how, uh, bro, genetics plays just like, a roll, bro. And, and on top of that, like, I do eat high calorie foods and stuff. And sometimes I'll just go like crazy and just like get like four burgers and fries and all that shit from like In and Out and stuff like that. But at the same time, I don't. I. I it's to, to for me to be two hundred and forty pounds is not a struggle. For me to be to me for me to gain weight is not a struggle. I could seriously gain weight tomorrow. Like if I want, it's not going to be muscle. But if I want to put on 10 pounds, I could put on 10 pounds. I could just eat. Just eat. And it, it's, it's going to be a lot of, you know, sodium, a lot, a lot of water um, weight. But I'm just saying, like, even, even other people have issues with putting on weight. When I eat carbs, my weight goes up like crazy. Like, I'm super, like, carb. Like, me and carbs is like, yo, it's crazy. And I, and I hold on to water like crazy. That's why, like, you really don't see me super like defined or anything um damn this car's going too fast let me get off this camera bro because in houston drivers bro this shit this shit dangerous all 
Got to grab my hookah flavors. We got, that's my favorite brand right here with the hookah. Adalia. Adaya. Adaya. I don't know if it's Adalia or Adaya. But Adaya. Got to get the titanium cubes. This, I've been living here for months and I'm like, they finally got these damn cubes. I'm like, bro, I need the big cubes. I don't need the small ones. I don't, I don't like flats. For some reason, I just hate flats, bro. Like, it's just like, why you get flats? Flats? I don't know, like, I have such a, like, an issue with, with just small things that just don't make sense to me. It's like, flats work fine, I guess, but they just not cubes. We still got, like, some of this taco meat. I could use that. Throw it on a taco. Throw some eggs in there. First meal of the day, what do you think? I don't see the tortillas. Said I draw Lila. The most tortilla. The most tortillas you bought. I don't want these things. What fucking tortillas you bought? Where's the tortillas you bought? I wasn't recording. No? I think I got enough for three tacos. Look how juicy them things is, though. Alright. <laughs> I am a mess. It was mm -hmm. $10 a box? Eight. Look at it. Over here reading the book, like I said. I read a book! Read a book! Read a book! You remember that? You never heard that? Ugly. <laughs> Alright, so we got the fried egg. Split it off in the third. Boom. Jelly or salsa? Salsa. Salsa la verde. Just a little bit. Nothing crazy, baby. Grab a doctor, diet pep, as always. Zero sugar, zero calories. Time to eat. Oh my 
gosh, bro. I'm about to fucking lose already. Uh, so, babe made the dish again um, that y'all saw in the other video with the zucchini, kind of like the little zucchini um, lasagna type deal. So, that's what I'm eating right now. We're watching some Try Gun. It is 10 o'clock now. Uh, it took a, like a little 30 minute nap. I was just up for a bit. I'm um, doing some work, gaming, and then laid down for like 40 minutes. Um, got back up. Now I'm about to start my stream once again. But, it's a nice little meal. So the goal, the goal, I think I'm going to try to start tomorrow um, from now on, is I want to be north of 250 grams of protein a day. Um, that is the goal. Between 250 to 300 grams of protein a day. How I mapped it out, those breakfast tacos that I had earlier, I was like, shit, I could do this. I was like, damn, I could do this, like, on a daily. So, I might start the day off with that. I'm um, no, hold on. So, first, I'm going back to starting my days with a protein shake. Easy 60 grams of protein. Easy 60 grams of protein. I need to go ahead and get it in. Start the day with the shake. 60 grams. Um, go, you know, do my workout or whatever. Or if I take it, get up get up early enough. Um, take that. Wait a few hours. Eat something light. Go work out. Then eat breakfast. So it's going to be like protein, light snack, protein snack. Go work out. Breakfast. And then the meals continue on throughout the day. So like three more meals throughout the day. Um, and, or I could just have the small snack go work out, have my protein shake, wait an hour or so, then have breakfast, uh, which I probably might end up doing, because sometimes, like, like I'd rather have food than having, like, a first, like, protein shake firsthand. I don't know. It just depends. Whatever thought process I'm thinking that day that would be most convenient for me to give, you know, my protein shake in, where, like, sometimes I just don't want a protein shake first. Um, so, anyways, and on top of that, I don't like to work out, like, Food's different, but like liquids, you know, and then I take my pre-workout and then pre workouts added on top of those liquids and I'm just like, my belly's full of just liquids. I hate working out like that, like, and I just feel kind of just, you know, water buffalo belly. That's what I call it. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of going to be like the map. That morning, those first meals, snack, whatever, and then we're going to have our first meal and second meal. Um, and then uh, end the night with a protein, whether it be uh, whey or casein protein um just in the day right before bed with a protein shake so start the day possibly with one in the day for sure with one and i think that would be the best way effective way for me to get in all my protein you end the day with a steak um every day every day my last meal is going to be steak so i end it with steak and the steaks are usually 100 grams of protein 105 i believe um so that boom you know more than half, or well, like, not almost half of my day's worth of protein, and then boom, we got the protein shakes, two protein shakes, 60 grams of protein each, so, you know, I'm already, I'm past 200 at that point, so now I just need, you know, a solid snack, and a solid, you know, two solid meals, and I feel like that would get me to where I need to be, um, for my protein intake, so yeah, I'm, let's make this happen, I'm excited for it. Alright, so right now, as you can see, we are literally editing the video that you are watching right now. It is 1.23, so I am about to go heat up the rest of the steak that I had I made yesterday and eat it with a salad. Got enough, plenty, plenty of this. They made two this time, so we set for right now. So I just heated up the steak. Once again, the babe formula for the salad. You got some argarilla, arugula, tugula. You got your lemon, squeeze the lemon, lime, squeeze lime, black truffle oil, and then salt and pepper. I'm just gonna keep this bowl. I'm just gonna throw this on top. Of oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this. You gotta get one of these so you can shave it off. Uh, Parmesan cheese, shave it off. On top of that, <laughs> I just randomly started. 
carving on it. Boom, here you go. Right here. I think I, I forgot to put the cheese, the Parmesan, um, before the steak. But you know what? Let's go ahead and finish it off. A little bit more salt. For the steak. And boom. Here is the last meal of the day. And then hopefully I can remember to have a protein shake um, before our, the end of the night or before I go to bed. So yeah. Still kind of hungry after that. So we are... Snacking on some popcorn. You gotta get the popcorn with the white cheddar seasoning, man. And bedazzle it on there. Uh, but, um, like I said, before I go to sleep, try to chug down this protein shake. 60 grams of protein from it. And then call it a night. It is 2.12 a.m. right now. Um, which is around the normal time I start going to bed. Like 3, 3 a.m. is when I really start going to bed. I finish editing the video a little bit more. Catch up on Barredo and uh, call it a night. If you've made it this far, I really appreciate you. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below um, what you want to see next, you know, and follow along with the journey. Appreciate you guys. Peace.